Right. It's kind of crazy, actually. Like, in Smash 4, we leveled up a good amount of, like, actually decent low level. So that yeah. you're not entering and just pub stomping people who have never played before. So we got Lima. We got Lima Still playing Zay. Bayo. Impressed. Lima, Lima's been messing around with both Bayo and Peach. Uh, trying to do as much with Bayo as he can because Bayo's still kind of fun, but Bayo still has weaknesses. Ooh, goodness. Okay, so actually, my brother played a bit of Bayonetta mm -hmm. uh, when uh, he was visiting over Christmas. Okay. And that's one interaction we found is that at low percent, if Bayonetta tries to slide. Yeah and start her stuff, and you're inkling, and you roller it, you trade. Then since you're at low percent, you go nowhere, and she right. gets grounded. And it's a huge advantage for you. Right, and especially with heel slide, the first hit is supposed to go into a launcher hit afterwards, and the first hit doesn't really send you anywhere, so it can combo Ex into that. Exactly, and uh, Zay getting that up throw up air, which I don't know if uh, if that was one of the true percents for it. Yeah, because but it is at some point. Yeah. yeah. I could pull up the resource in between games that uh, Chase sent me. Yep. Here we go. Now, I'm not 100% sure what... Uh... Ooh, okay. I like it. I like it. I love that. Up tilt to back air is one of the things that Bayos have had to adjust to using as their uh, kill confirm in this game because she lost a lot of kill power in most of her other aerials. That back air is still really strong, though. Yep. Amazed that uh, it was able to hit the inkling being so low. It just seemed expertly timed mm -hmm. from the couple of seconds that I played Bayonetta. Ooh, that's going to... Ooh, not quite as free an opening as I thought. Inkling's roller on shield is just abysmal. Yeah. A lot of lag. You don't even have to perfect shield it to punish. Right. So. You should be able to, as Bayo, witch twist out of shield or just do some kind of aerial. Yep. But yeah, trying to figure out what uh, Lima's general game plan is. And right now it feels like stick to him, rush him down, and then abandon the combo every now and then once yeah. he feels like he has to get out so that you can continue it again. Kind of right. like that, except he didn't quite have the punish on the air dodge he wanted. Yeah, unfortunately, Bayo... So in Smash 4, she had a lot of lag on her aerials, or on, on landing after using more special moves, and the more special moves you get, the more landing lag. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, and in this game, it's exponentially worse. Okay. So that's sometimes why they'll, uh, she'll, uh, he'll abandon the combo to reset on a platform and then try to take the combo higher up to actually get that board. read on the nice. up air. Yeah. I feel like Zay really didn't have to go for that up air just because you get a drop and got in the up B. And as I understand it, Inkling is borderline impossible to two frame for most characters. Very, very difficult with the, the way that it hugs the ledge. Without which time read, keeping Lima in the game after Zay's early lead. Yeah, Zay's actually been controlling the pace of this game. Maybe not the pace, but been in control of the game for a while. It seems like most of the time, uh, Lima has either felt the need to aggress or just been aggressing, and Zay's got a really strong counter hits. Right there, we got combo, extender, extender, and Zay just kind of falls out. Wow. Ooh, and that double tap, Zay definitely read with the perfect shield. Yeah, I didn't consider the landing splash hitbox, though. Is Lima dead? No. I can't tell when Bayonetta's going to die. Right. <laughs> I'll be honest. Jeez. Sometimes I think that she's super dead after, like, any other Bayonetta might be dead, but Lima's actually, wow. Was that actually necessary? I thought, I thought he was going to head bonk. I thought Zay had just gotten himself killed. Uh, I don't actually know if you would head bonk on there or if uh, Inkling rides the wall. Do you know? I I don't know from experience. Uh, he like they're definitely prone to head bonking. My the big issue is whether or not that chunk of Pokemon Stadium right, was readable. bonk or ramp. Right. Because okay. if it was like if it was a an angle, mm -hmm. then he was guaranteed to lift. Because no you problem. can ride some walls. Oh right? yeah, you yeah. can you can absolutely ride any wall mm -hmm. with their up B as long as it's like a slant. Okay. But the moment it becomes a ceiling, you're you're gonna yeah. bonk. I guess Liba just didn't want to take the risk and paid off, right? Yeah. Plus, I mean, you you don't play Bayonetta not to feel cool. Of course. The, the reason you pick this character is to do all the cool special moves. Yes. And fly around in the air and feel like you're playing an anime fighter. I mean, he kind of is. He's got yeah. these little forward air combos going. And I like the little delays trying to match up with the inkling uh, air, like the travel, and noticing that it gets a little more delayed as the percent gets higher, mm -hmm. where he's just actually tracking him. Very cool. And I like him ending now with the Nair rather than trying to carry him up to the top. Right. Sets him on the platform. Gives him time to reset neutral. Going really deep. Wow. Yep. He's I got that wall jump. Uh-huh. I'm not 100% sure what uh, happened to Zay there. Like, right. maybe he tried to 
Maybe he's, I saw an air dodge in there somewhere. I so it might have been he, a tech. I wonder if he accidentally got the uh, the directional air dodge when he wanted a neutral air dodge. Could be. Because he just kind of fell. Mm -hmm. It was very sad. There we go. That move used to cross up shields in Smash 4. It doesn't anymore. Yeah, right there, we've got Zay going for the double nair combo. Uh, ooh, that wall bounce actually kind of bailing Lima out from Zay's down air. And he's got control again. Okay. For another witch twist. Forward airs? No. I f yeah, I feel like that descending nair was an attempt to catch. Mm. Oh my god. Carry yeah. off. I guess, depending on the hitbox of the side B from Bayo, they'll either land right in front of you and you can end the combo with fair, which I think is what you want as Bayo. That's the stronger ender. Or the nair will catch them if they cross to the other side. So they just got to react on the fly. And. I'm liking how, oh man, Lima. Oh, forward throw? That. Nice, he baited Zay to go ah. after him in the corner with that hop over. So what's the like, leg dashy move called? The so It's a heel slide on the ground and in the air it's after burner kick. Okay. So I'm not even sure which ones are forward Bs and which ones are up Bs. Right. Like, her, her side B on the ground is the one where she flips forward, the one you were talking about with the interaction okay. with the roller. Yeah. And in the air, she just goes for the dive forward or dive down. Okay. Depending on input. Got another combo oh, start. God. This one, actually. Hello? This is hurting. Are you Ridley? What are you? So many. Oh, Lima. No, he's got a bounce. He tried oh. to go for the air dodge up, but he was just, just barely misjudged the distance. I think he, he might have been able to find something with a uh, wall jump if he'd been able to get it, but I don't know if he can hold in and drift into it after the bounce and get it. Bayo has can. a wall cling, and sometimes that can let characters live for a little bit longer than they should. But Ooh, I'm liking the play around that, but Inkling got that low profile even when they're not dashing. They're short characters, so. Right. Not not the tallest characters in the world, so one of Bayo's better kill options in that back air hits pretty high up. It's hard to set. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened to Zay, but I do know what happens to me sometimes when I'm recovering yeah. as Inkling, which is when you forward B, mm -hmm. if you hit jump early, and then you're just like, okay, I'll let it buffer the jump, and I'll just politely wait for myself to hop, you actually just kind of keep rollering. Okay. So it's really, so I found myself in positions where I forward B, and I just actually keep falling. Okay. You've got to forward B and then just hold jump. Right, because so it, it, it does a the whole move buffer. storage. Mm -hmm. If you just hit it, and you hit it a little too early, and then you just kind go. of wait. You just watch yourself fall. That's